Today we're going to survive overnight, but only with the things that we can carry. We have to pack up our supplies and hike a mile to our campsite. It's hot as eggs out here. In the morning, our judge will come to judge the sites, and whoever makes the worst campsite will have to do the most cringe punishment ever on this channel. A stand-up comedy routine at open mic night, written by the other two survivalists. I have so many good ideas that I want to incorporate in my campsite, but I can only carry so much. That alone can take up one arm, and I need a tent, I need food, I need a whole bunch of other gear. The only things we can bring are things we can carry. So the best way to do that is to invest in some heavy duty backpacks. I don't think it's technically a backpack, but you know what? You can attach whatever you want to yourself. I'm gonna get four suitcases, attach them together, or strap them on my shoulder to make a suitcase vest. <laughs> Dude, if it works, I'm gonna have so much storage. And we definitely wanna bring up enough supplies to make the coolest campsite we can. This punishment is no joke. None of us wanna lose. We are back from the store with the majority of our supplies. This is what we bought. We have to carry everything you see to the campsite. Oh, I know it's kinda crusty. I know Justin keeps making fun of me, but I think my strategy is actually really good. I just have two really big bags that should be able to hold everything I need. I mean, I have one on my chest, one on my back. Just gotta figure out a way to attach them. And then this is all I have. I went with pretty light items. So I got the biggest backpack I could find, 115 liters. I got really unique items that I feel like will sway the judge to like my campsite the best. I'm trying to walk that line of building the coolest campsite, but also I gotta get there with all the supplies. Huh? Bet you didn't think these existed, did you? Well, I could fit a good amount out in here. I'm pretty mm. confident about that. This is gonna be my main storage compartment. There's quite a bit of room in here, almost for a person. That's your backpack? One of my backpacks. How many backpacks did you get? Enough to carry all my supplies. How many did you get? <laughs> all my items are very small. What if your bag hits the ground, unfortunately? It won't with these. So you're, I can bring a pretty massive campsite with these two suitcases, I think. Definitely bigger than Justin's. What? I think the key to victory, for me at least, is to not overfill each bag. That's mine! Stop stealing things! This thing technically isn't even a backpack, so I gotta make sure I can at least carry it. Not bad. My strategy is to put everything that is essential for my campsite into one bag, and then all the bonus fun stuff into another bag. That way, if I'm gonna have to choose and lose one of them, I unfortunately lose all the fun things, so I still have the essentials. Oh boy. They heavy, pal? They're pretty heavy. And they're not even full yet. I'm gonna get some more stuff at the store because I don't have any food or anything. We're going on a hike that's not a walk in the park either. The thing is though, I have majorly massive strong traps. So that's what most of this weight's gonna be resting on. <laughs> See? Nothing. I don't feel a thing. <laughs> Ow, that was my collarbone. Ow, that's my collarbone. Why do you have luggage? Just wait and see, Drew. You're gonna be mind blown. Look at this here. Ah! What are we looking for here, guys? I need food. Definitely food. <laughs> I'm going to the food aisle. I think there's Me two too. things. Oh! Right in the butt, right in the weenie, weenie. Oh. 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 <laughs> Why? I can't decide where they get this mega sausage, guys. Leave a like if I should. Thanks, that was a lot of likes. I might be getting too much stuff. It's so hard to like stop buying food. I'm gonna make the world's most unique s'mores later. For dinner, I'm gonna be making something upscale and luxurious. Gotta get all the fresh ingredients here from the produce. We'll be set. Collar changing marshmallows. Like I said, I'm making the world's most unique s'mores. Gotta get these. One more per- <laughs> Hands off, hands off, hands I've been looking off, hands for those. No, you guys don't even understand, I'm a prime addict and I've been looking for lemonade flavor for, I haven't tried it yet. Well, I got two. Can I have one? I don't know. Ah! I found these as an extra little game. I'm gonna fill them with something that nobody's gonna expect. Cozy slippers. Another special ingredient, ice cream. Bet the fellas aren't getting that because it could melt, but I got an ice box. I need butt wipes. You made it. We just got to the trailhead of our hike. So we're gonna get all our gear on and head straight into the woods where we have a mile hike ahead of us. It's gonna be brutal because it's hot out today. Already in the shade, huh? I, I don't know if I can go. This is the worst punishment we've done. I'm actually genuinely concerned. I need a pee. I've got all my bags right here. I have to somehow attach them all to my body. Once they're all on, they can't touch the ground. Yikes. I'm splitting up a little bit of the food just in case I lose one of these bags. I at least have some food and, and drink. Holy moly. Oh no. <laughs> Might not be good for my me. Well, I'm thinking about using this rope that I got to tie the backpacks together so it's one module backpack. Uh, oh. I am uh, figuring out where I want to put everything. 
feel a little wobbly. I fully blew it on this one. This ain't gonna work. Neither of my strap plans are working and there's no way I can carry both of these suitcases like this all the way there. This is bad news. Oh my God. <laughs> well, not not great. My arms might fall asleep. A mile hike isn't that bad in and of itself, but when you're carrying about 60 to 100 pounds on your back, it makes it tremendously more difficult. And then the heat also makes it more difficult. What's leaking out of your back? What are you talking about? What the heck? Why is it soaked? This must be a crappy cooler. What is that? that was like a $200 cooler. It's igloo. It should be good, no? <laughs> Joke's on you, you just wasted your water on a super prank. You're lucky we're here to help you. It works. You see? Make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, so you're ready to go? I guess. Once we start walking that way, the challenge begins. Anything that touches the ground, you have to drop. Ready? Yeah, ready. let's go. Guys, I'm gonna be surprised if I make it there with even one of these bags. I can't remember if we mentioned this, but the first one there gets an extra point in the voting at the end, whatever that means. So far, so good. It's definitely heavy. I am not gonna drop a single thing because I need to win this challenge. Guys, I can feel a little bit of slippage. I'm concerned about this back one. Yeah, this feels like a... Uh, a military exercise. Like I just have to suck it up, forget the pain. These straps are digging into my shoulders. It doesn't matter, because I'm a victor. Oh, my shoulders and neck are on fire. What's happening to him? He's having a breakdown. Don't blow it. How much further? Well, you probably hadn't even gone a quarter mile. Still. Screw that thing, dude. Oh! Isaac dropped an item! My body feels like it's about to like just collapse. It's so simple. Like, just get a big backpack, tie a bunch of stuff to it. Easy. I know I gotta be so stupid. Oh, just trying to think outside the box, trying something creative. Suitcase vest. What was I thinking? I'm starting to feel the back pain. Uh, it's getting real. If I could just take a break, that would be great, but there's no way to sit down. And it's hot as eggs out here. Oh, Isaac almost fell over. I've lost another 15 pounds. We're getting there. My neck and shoulders, much agony. I'm trying hard not to drop a single item. It's not looking good if the pain keeps increasing. Also very sweaty. So we got a left turn right here, and the campsite is straight down this path, so <laughs> we're at the finish line. Oh. I don't think I'm coming in last, which is good. You just need to be first. Dang it. You can catch up with them if you run. Hey! This one's items are dangerously low to the ground. What? Oh! What was that? No! How did that fall? Oh, dang it. I lost my first item right by the finish. Oh. Oh. How do I get this off? <coughs> Andrew and I have been standing here for like 10 minutes. Still can't even see Isaac. I hope he's okay. Should we go see if he needs help or just keep waiting? Like actual medical help? He could have got collapsed and the suitcase is fell on him. Maybe give it like an extra, maybe 10 more minutes. Isaac! So I got the Storm Break 2 tent. A little under $200, but it looks pretty sweet. <laughs> this is a very odd tent. That's okay. Look at this, guys. I got this, which is a portable cot, which is gonna be... Isaac! Andrew, I see him. Oh yeah, there he is. The final stretch, come on! Come on! Oh, God. Do it, do it. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was one of the hardest physical things I've ever done. Oh. oh. Ew, you're so sweaty. Uh, yes, I know that. Huh? We all got our oxygen boost. Somehow they're flavored as well. What flavor did you get? We got pink grapefruit. The best. Like he mine's menthol. Mine's peppermint. <sighs> oh goodness. <laughs> So strange. Yeah. How is this any different than just breathing what we're breathing right now? Feels <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just like drinking icy hot. I'm just relieved that I'm here and I have both my bags. I have enough to make a pretty sweet campsite and I think the judge is gonna like what I got in store for him. Uh, got my tent set up. I do have this cover for it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it because I'm already hot and this will make it hotter. Working on setting up my cot. I'm gonna be sleeping comfy, unlike the other buffoons. I'm kinda now realizing I didn't get pretty much anything in terms of interior decor. I also forgot to get a chair. Big whoops. So all I have really is my bed. But really, when you're camping, how much time do you actually spend in the tent? You want to be outside of the tent doing fun camping things. And I found this super unique small table in this bag. It's even cooler than I imagined. What? Yes, dude. Oh, I'm so happy with my setup. I can't wait to show the judge some of the other random things I got. Oh, 
bro. This is so much better than laying on all the sticks. Oh, yes! Nope, 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 nope. No. You may remember these from the lighthouse in Iceland. They're uh, super easy and super convenient. I wanted to make sure I didn't need something with like a pump. No electricity. We're off the grid. <laughs> I'm starving. I got a gourmet meal ahead of me. And I'm gonna be cooking it on this thing. There we go, look at that. Ah. Oh, what? <laughs> what happened? Look how far your foot sunk into the ground. I built my chair on a swoop. Oh, what the heck, man. I've got this nice, look at this nice trail of solar powered lamps I got here. In the middle of the night, if you need to go pee, you know exactly where to go. Over to his campsite. Huh? Welcome to Justin's kitchen. It's time to cook. Check out what's on the menu. Wagyu beef ribeye steak. $21 steak right here, guys. I have my handy dandy cutlery set with a cutting board included. I see, what the heck? Your standard steak blend, it's got everything you need, so let's just lather it up. Right, we're also gonna have a side of marinated mushrooms. All I need is this contraption, and I can warm up my calzone. I'm honestly in really big trouble as far as the judging goes. This game was my centerpiece game, but because I dropped that black case, that was actually the base of the game. So without it, the game literally is impossible to play. All I have left is these two games. I'm afraid the judge is gonna take off some serious points for just lack of anything, really. Ah. The pan's warmed up for a few minutes. We're gonna put on the garlic and herb butter. And we're gonna cook it for about four minutes with that side, and then four minutes on the other side. Because you liked the video so many times, I'm gonna have my lunch of summer sausage. The nutrition facts are like printed onto the sausage. It's, no, it's paper. What? It's wrapped in paper, my guy. This thing's way too hot. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I'm trying to flip it, but, oh, not bad. You guys, this is the biggest glizzle I've ever seen. It's like raw beef. Can you eat this? It's safe. <laughs> hey, Justin. Wanna have a bite? Nah. No, you have to. I got a better piece right yeah, here. You have to have a start. It's an appetizer. Oh, I already got appetizers. No, no, this is better. I don't want that. It's a fromage. Thing. It's a uh, what's the, amuse bouche. Ooh, uh, amuse bouche. What is that? Edit in what an amuse bouche is. Here. You want a banana? No. Have a bite. No, I don't want that. Why not? I got, look what I got. I got a ribeye on the grill. This is you delicious. think I want some random summer sausage? Can I actually put some of that on there? Oh, yeah. Dude, you come over here, putting your sausage on my grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is about done. Guys, look at that. That looks really good. Hey, go Andrew. It's an amused bouche. It's actually really good. Why do you have a handfuls of just sausage? <laughs> it broke in half, fell on the ground. I cooked some. It what? I think it was that one. You definitely are not getting it prime. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, looks, this actually looks really good. Ooh, whoa. This calzone may be a done. So let us try a steak since I gave him some of my sausage. I wouldn't count on it. I'm proud of you for making the hike out here even though you almost died, so. And it's cold. I needed my electrolytes refilling. That is the best flavor, <laughs> by far. I finally co completed my prime collection. I'm trying my calzone now. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Why did I buy a massive mm. sausage? Is it warm inside? Yes, the cheese is like melty too. Ooh, we got a medium, boys. That's cool, you cut it in half, almost like for sharing for someone. I'll give you a bite. There you go, Drew. What? Man, you're like Bobby Flay. Who's that? Who's Bobby Flay? What? You don't know Bobby Flay? All right, guys, welcome to Sadville. <laughs> Bike ball right here, can jam right here, and that's it for our game. This is gonna be our uh, kitchen station, so I got the cooler full of tonight's dinner goodies. The grills are in here. I just wanted to keep everything kind of out of the way of animals. Come on in. Ouch, there's so many sticks. Here we have my bed, pretty inflated so it'll keep me comfortable off the ground. Got a nice sleeping bag. Over here I got everything that I'm gonna set up outside for my kitchen. I'm gonna be cooking dinner and I'm also gonna be cooking dessert. Got this bad boy, I'm gonna be breaking him out tonight. What I'm filling this with is gonna be creamy. Am I gonna have a really nice, fun overnight? Yes. Am I gonna win the challenge? No. Definitely not. Oh. The punishment is so bad. Welcome to my campsite. Here we've got the cooking area. I have a solo stove here if I want to make uh, like a little campfire or roast some s'mores later. In the morning, we got butterscotch toffee coffee, the nice cutlery here. We have a TV with the Nintendo Switch for entertainment later. I've got the cot here with a nice sleeping bag, lights here for the vibe. I've got some lawn darts for games, a Lego Technic set that I can build. I have the power. Why are you peeing right there? You're gonna get it, boy. 
gosh, that was the worst. Over here, I've got my hammock set up. So this is for a relaxation. Uh, the ultimate s'mores coming later. That's gonna be a big, big prize. Ah, very nice. Welcome to the one. He is the one. I have a beautiful canopy right here. In case it starts to rain, I can sit right here and be covered, or I could go in my tent. But it's kind of fun sitting outside when the weather gets bad. I actually went with the no sleeping bag method. So I have this inflatable thing, so I'm off the ground, but I got this warm, puffy blanket. It's been 80 degrees today, and I feel like this is just what I need. Solar-powered lights, which will come in handy at nighttime. First aid kit, compass, and a multi-tool, just in case things go sideways. The bed is actually very comfortable. Got this pillow, and then another pillow. Sleeping in here should be no problem. Upon leaving, you could take your camp slippers and just slide on in. Conveniently, the kitchen here is right outside the tent, so you can sit down, enjoy a coffee, I did get a coffee maker and then I have some desserts in here two bags full of all sorts of different snacks Which I'll be enjoying throughout the night got my candy bag. Boom sour gummy worms Those are good survival out here should be a breeze unless my steak attracts all the bears I have two activities at my campsite throwing axes. We got three here So we'll probably just play this later use the tree there and then I have a glow-in-the-dark activity once it turns nighttime. That one's gonna be fun as well. Just give me a coffee crunch. Give me a strawberry butternut cream. Hurry, oh, eat quick. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Who thought ice cream was a good idea to bring camping? Got an ice cooler. I thought it'd work. That was good though. Which one do you like better, the strawberry or coffee? Well, I only had the strawberry one, so. <laughs> I only had the coffee one, so the coffee one's pretty good. Oh, so you're saying I should try coffee to determine which one's better? Coffee one's better. Time for axe throwing. You each get your own axe. If yours doesn't stick to the tree, you're out. Oh! <laughs> you're out! Yes! What? Axe throwing victor! I'm going for the world record axe throw. Oh! I'm jumping in my hammock. Like we said, it was gonna be night pretty quick. Check this out, guys. We got what? purple, turquoise, teal, pink, white, and just the light, too. My solar lights turned on. Whoa. Why did those two turn on? I don't know. Just got the lights activated. Take a look at that. Whoa. You said your game's glow in the dark. I'm waiting for some nighttime fun. The can jam is uh, supposed to be glowing in the dark, but it's not looking super glowy. Whoa, what the? Whoa. What? That would have scored if the thing didn't move. In the hole. I swear I'm missing. Oh! Man, this game sucks! This is the coolest game I have. Spike ball, but like you've never seen it before. What do you mean? Watch this. Oh no. It doesn't come with any charge? Oh. The judge is not gonna be impressed with all of these glitches. The judge isn't here. He doesn't know what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him this was bright as eggs. This is useless. Oh. What? <laughs> Oh, it's kind of dangerous out here at night. It literally is just a pile of sticks. Guys, I forgot my chair, and so I'm just gonna borrow Justin's. Ugh. I do not have a lot of hope for the judging. My campsite was relying on the games being the showstopper. It turns out I really only have one more game than both Justin and Andrew. I have a bad feeling I'm gonna have to do this punishment, which will be one of the worst, cringiest things I've ever done. Justin just invited us inside his tent. So you may notice that I am holding a bunch of cups. <clears throat> you may also notice I'm holding balls. I have this tube you may be noticing. Now within this tube, you may notice glow sticks. This is just one oh. fun, oh, what? rare what? cup game. I feel like you have a weird obsession with glow sticks. No, I don't. I think every overnight <laughs> video features glow sticks purchased by this guy. We have all the cups set up. Now it's time to turn all the lights off. Turn all the lights off! <laughs> Oh, that does look pretty cool. The color system is a point system. Red is one point. Green is two points. Yellow is three points. Oh. Pink is four points. Blue is five points. You have to hit it off the roof. <laughs> Get that point. Oh, that's the great idea. Oh. You have an unfair oh. oh! You get four throws. If, if a cup falls off the table, you get minus one point. The yellow one's on the verge of death. Oh, oh. 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 If you actually throw with the left hand, you get a bonus point just for throwing it. What? Even if I miss. Now, if it bounces on the yellow and, and goes to the pink, I get extra three points. 
see, I made the yellow, but I fell off the ledge, so that's two points. But the thing is, if you have any cup fall off this round, I get five points. The four throws. Okay. If it bounces out of a purple into a green, it's negative one point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bankrupt! <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Ah! I was gonna let you take home a cup. Now you're not allowed to. Welcome to Darkville. I didn't get a single light. I gotta use this frisbee to see. My dinner itself is not as gourmet as Justin's. I have a feeling your food is not gonna come out the way it's supposed to. Why are you saying stuff like that? I know I do dumb things sometimes, but this this one, I just, it was completely fail. The things that I forgot that are pretty much essential for a campsite, lights, chairs. We're going straight in on this tort quesadilla. Guys, that's what I'm making. Oh, Wait, oh yeah, why is that so big? Oh! Is that enough cheese? I don't care, not for me. I gotta quickly put these together. Got my oh, half and half. Another... Ew. Not ew. <laughs> it's just creamier milk. How is that gross? Drinking straight half and half? Delish. Yeah, it's not bad. I just never would think to just drink that. A lot of people didn't think to just drink cow's milk either before some sicko did it for the first time. Whoa. I didn't bring any utensils. Oh. I have to use my fingy. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cookie on my quesadilla. Ah, oh, man. That's not quite how I thought it would look. Alright, guys. My quesadilla is done. My cookies aren't quite cooking how I thought they would. <laughs> so, I'm gonna actually... <laughs> Pour them on this one and just make a big cookie scramble. I guess I can use this as the spoon. Time to try the tor the quesadilla. That's good. It's good. I didn't say anything. <laughs> it is better than the quesadilla from Chipotle. Oh, big no, cow. it's not. You've never seen a s'mores like this before. For the grams, not grams, sugar cookies. This is edible right out of the bag. I think these are just gonna burn. So far, cookies are 0 for 2 on the skillet tonight. <laughs> could flip it, it might be fine. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. I'm not giving up, I'm just gonna use just the unbaked cookie dough as the s'mores base. Color changing mallows. Okay, so it's blue. What's it gonna turn into? Oh, it's green. What the? It's green! We have our chocolate here. All right, so here are the grams. Put the chocolate on the grams. See, I told you, the world's most unique s'more. You're glad you stuck around to see this. Could it really be bad? Do you have what? a spoon by any chance I could borrow? Just show us the cookie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, what the It's heck? diarrhea in a pan. <laughs> Technically a scrambled cookie. I just don't want to eat it with my hands. It's going to look like I wiped my butt and then licked it off. You've already Perfect. been doing that. Now begin. Whoa. No, Let not me that. dispel that rumor real no, quick. No, 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 no. You've already been, <laughs> oh. using, you've already been using your hand to, to eat this. Okay. You literally use your finger to stir it up. Oh, I was hoping it'd be way more solid. Obviously it doesn't taste bad. It's just still a cookie on a pan. But the texture is just way off. It's kind of grainy because it's a keto cookie. It kind of tastes like I just stuck my finger in the ground. I'm going to bed. Guys, I'm actually pretty happy with my setup. Excited to have a good night's sleep. Good night, everybody. Remember this bad boy? I think it's about time to load it. Chop a milk blaster. Oh! I'm gonna go get Adrian. If it wasn't so cold, I think I might have built my Lego set, but I'm actually like freezing. Gotta get my sleeping bag. <laughs> this is so nice in here. I'm just gonna bust out the Mario Kart, play some Nintendo Switch in bed. Life is good. Hey. What are you doing? What the heck is that? Hello. What are you doing? Get off my bed. Open wide. No. Open. What is wrong with you? Open. Put that down. Get out of my tent. Open wide. No. Why would I just open my mouth for you to squirt me with a squirt gun? Oh, cause you don't know what's in here. Trust me, you'll want to open. Open wide. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Isn't it delicious? Tell me what it is now. It's chocolate milk. It tastes like chocolate milk. No, it shot me in the mouth. That hurt. No, I feel bad. No. Oh! Oh, my nuts! Out. Oh, freaking nerd. Wait till the judge finds out about this. Gosh. All right, well, I'm gonna try to get some sleep now. We'll see you guys in the morning. That prank was very worth it, but it did backfire slightly because I'm also now insanely sticky as well. Ah, <sighs> all right. Night. Good morning, everybody. The chocolate milk eventually dried out and I was able to get some solid sleep. Morning, guys. It's only right to start the day off with some fresh coffee. Not just any coffee, I'm going to actually be grinding my coffee. Ooh, nothing like the smell of fresh coffee grounds. I am so sore. I could like barely lift my shoulders. Suitcases did a number on Anya. I've never done anything like that. Wait, is that our judge? Well, hello. 
Hello! We're here with Samuel, who is gonna be our judge. Who had the worst campsite, and they will have to do the punishment. One thing to keep in mind is I earned an extra point for being the first one to the camp. Justin's campsite. Already this is suspicious. He didn't even take the time to set his tent up fully. So it's just like flapping in the wind. You guys are really lucky it didn't rain last night. <laughs> Justin's getting grilled way more than I thought. I like your light system, that's fun. Good chair. I like your light. Slippers for comfort. A lot of this is really, really basic. Okay, that's not bad. It's all right. Welcome to my campsite. Recently renamed a Choco Surprise. I got surprised <laughs> chocolate to last night. I have all these solar lamps. Got the comfy chair. This hammock. Can you do a backflip for me? Oh, yeah, I'm just really tired from yesterday. I don't know what that would. <laughs> this no, is all like... trash. Someone else tried to sabotage my camp. Yeah, look at this. Now. This looks like a disaster. If somebody did this to my tent, I'd rough. probably like kick him in the face. Actually, I did kick him somewhere else. <laughs> oh! Oh. You have the same problem that Justin did. My priority was a cot. And I have an actual sleeping bag. Ooh, that's nice. I have a power Ooh. bank. I brought up a TV with a Nintendo Ooh. Switch. I am so impressed. That is nice. My campsite is called Happyville. Let me show you the yard. The yard. It's like a prison. <laughs> no, no, no. Welcome to the prison yard. Do you not have a yard at your house? I went heavy on the game. They all light up. So last night it was all like lit up. It looked sick. The ball was flashing. I invited the boys over and we were we were playing. That part is true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else of the story is also, true. <laughs> also didn't stake my tent down. No, but no that was did. But that was intentional because I want it to be modular if I needed to move it at all. You might also notice that there's no trash. Besides this piece of trash <laughs> and that piece of trash. It's not a tent I would want to stay in because there's oh. nothing here except for your sleeping pad which isn't even fully inflated. Well it was when I said it was, it was when I went to sleep. No, no, no. Wait, wait a second. It, no, no, hang on. Like anytime you roll this one. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't roll off the bed. Samuel has come to a decision. Who here had the worst campsite and then has to do the punishment? So everybody made mistakes. My heart's actually so fast. <laughs> the loser is Isaac. Oh, yes, Isaac. There is open mic night at the comedy bar and he is gonna have to do a stand-up routine that me and Justin write for him. Oh no, <laughs> that is so bad. <laughs> this is the worst. We're here at the comedy club. Isaac, are you ready right. for your punishment? Yeah, I guess. Here's your script. Don't look at it until you go up. Good luck. Justin and I spent probably a couple hours writing this comedy routine just for you. I'm gonna do my best to at least try and make it funny. Try not to totally bomb. Eric Quazzo, everybody. <laughs> I just have one question for you. Who's ready to laugh? That's what I thought. Growing up as a kid, I would wonder, yo, what's the deal with crumpets? It wasn't until I moved to America to try an English muffin that it hit me. Americans just steal yummy snacks from other countries like French toast. Your own toast wasn't interesting enough, so you just threw French on the front of it. Speaking of toast, anyone uh, else just randomly, insanely hungry all of a sudden? That's not part of the routine, I just genuinely curious how hungry everybody is. Uh, if I had to pick between French toast and English muffins, I would probably choose Taco Bell. Again, another American place stealing yummy snacks from a different country. By show of hands, who had T-Bell today? This week? Woo! This month? Woo! Come on, surely. Look around, we're all infatuated with T-Bell. Um, has anyone uh, seen a picture of a shaved gorilla? Did I mention how thankful I am for being here tonight? I literally have been doing stand-up uh, since I was seven years old, and as you can tell, it's paying off. But every now and again, I like to crack a joke to lighten the mood. I don't think there are any Taco Bells in the North Pole. I'm just assuming once Santa is making the rounds, his favorite spot to grab a quick bite to eat is Taco Bell. There's really never a good time to fart. Like honestly, who here has ever thought, if I fart now, at this moment, nothing bad will happen to me? I'm currently thinking that question right now. Anyone seen any good uh, movies recently? Uh, did I mention I can hold my breath for literally like 30 seconds? Thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button. And if you want to hear the entire stand-up routine, head over to our podcast channel where we react to it. See you next time.